Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the Rookie Balboa run. Round number 12 in the boxing has uh, almost come to a conclusion. We are in the ropes, but we're still standing. Operation Earthly Moon is here uh, with only rookies, four men, permanent dark events and quite a few to be honest trying to attempt this very difficult mission where we're neutralizing a field commander hopefully the problem here is we're fighting against a lot of enemies well the 13 themselves aren't that bad but i'm pretty sure the hunter will just join in and make our life a living hell um, it's the first time that we are up against a real sector pot in terms of actually needing to fight them and couldn't avoid it and only having four people. So Roby and Divad are going to go in. Uh, everybody, as you can see, has blue screen rounds because uh, they are so, so good against the automated defenses. We got uh, two Mimic Beacons and two times Shredding. Likely for the sector pod because I hope I, I really hope it's just one sector pod. And I think with a little bit of shredding. Well there there's the hunter as well. So maybe we gotta shred the sector pod once and the hunter once uh, to make it a bit more bearable. Or well, we're shredding one of them twice and the other one just needs to die with an execution. We got repeaters all across the weapons because uh, that is against really high hit point targets. Believe it or not, that's the strategy. Repeat them to death. Alright, let's see how well we're going to do. Good, we are going to go in. And we got a fun lancer. And the great thing about them is they have bleeding rent, which means we can charge in as far as we want after we've uh, taken a strike. That will be fun. We got some high ground here, which is good as well. So potentially going to orient uh, myself towards the right hand side. We don't want to lose concealment yet, so got to be just a tiny bit careful. And let's get our Lancer there as well. A fifth uh, member will really help us. And in... how many hit points do you have? Eat Lancer 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15, 16 with the armor. Okay, we got a new tank. My challenge here is as tasty as it looks to just kill these guys. Let's maybe not do that right away. We're trying to find the general. Okay, if they want to run into us, they will do that either way, so... This is not going to change anything. Heading to that location. We can hear the sector port stomp stomp in the background. Did they just bypass us without seeing us? <laughs> okay, funny. That was the luckiest bypassing that I've ever seen. Like, literally, that was the single luckiest bypass I've ever seen. I was firmly convinced this is going to trigger. Moving in. Double mech, but still not the advent general. Already there. Watch out. I've got my eyes on the prize. 
Let's try to not be caught out with our pens down here. Triggering more than one squad would be a problem. Good. We're trying to get out of line of sight here. On Overwatch. On Overwatch. We're likely going to start with the two code, uh, codices. Both of them gone, thanks to blue screen rounds. Now we got some solid high ground up here. Orders confirmed. Moving out. This is going to trigger, very likely. Five million hit points. More heavy mechs uh, back there. And this is four times Overwatch. Alright, that's straight up four times Overwatch. Okay, well, remember when I mentioned we need the shredding for the sector pod? I think I just changed my mind. Look at that, is a crazy pack. Good, so that would be one potential target. Keep going. Okay, and we gotta start hitting these guys. Look, I mean, we could dual strike, okay, and get the Elite Spectre down. Potentially not the worst idea. But I wanted dual strike for the Sector Pod later. cover care of. one mech down Together. teamwork and we're going to use the mimic beacon If we charge in, that's just going to make it so much worse. This you might not trigger. Okay, we got bleeding rent which will help us yeah let's still try to kill this guy Enemy destroyed. okay one more down Mimic Beacon will only eat two of the shots. The third one will go through. Might hit the Stun Lancer, who knows. They have just one turn, so they can't move. Uh, 
Um, did we just lose cover here? Okay, so we destroyed our own cover by shooting at it. Well, it sounds like a little bit of a bullshit move to me. We're picking up an inbound advent transport. The aliens are going to try and extract the general from the AO. To be honest, that sounds like a lot of bullshit to me, now thinking about it. Alright, could have been worse, now that I'm thinking about it. Out. Hit the armor. Out. What do we got here? Target neutralized. I don't want to charge in. I know exactly that that's going to pull the next pack, so... The answer is no. And there's a sector port somewhere. Somewhere in the background. Can't use the second mimic beacon, not yet. So moving in, this is going to result in another micro missile attack. You can already see that. This here would hit even all four of us. This would be a great position, but unfortunately he's too healthy. Can't really get behind any cover here. I hate to play backwards, because I know we gotta go through this. But do we want to eat the damage? Potentially not. One movement too little. Like I said, I hate that play, but there were no good alternatives. Alright, execute. There is the sector port. Should have been a core. Understood. Moving out. Right. I think we're reloading and just overwatching. Look, we gotta be extra careful here. Out. On covering out. The hope is uh, the general sort of runs into us. Okay, there's the general. 
And the hope is coming true, apparently. Alright, Advent General just... Spiced it up a bit. Good, we're keeping a high count of ammunition. Reload. Let's kill the mech. Chances are too low to hit him. I'm on the move. Okay, we'll keep that in the back pocket. There you go, nice little 12. And we could reposition if we so choose to do so. I don't want to use to a strike. Confirmed. Trying to kill him. Alright, at least we got... This is a big problem. We'll get to that in a second. Time to kill the Advent General. Could have done that all along without a double shot. Standing in the open, living mimic beacon. That's the play. Okay. Alright, free reload. Come on. Shredded it nicely, nicely. I am with you. Now we do have a problem, but we gotta solve it, right? Like we're always solving it, time for the Sectorport Dual Strike. Nice hit, good job. Alright, keep them coming.
Okay, so that was our first official original sector port kill. with no help and nothing else <clears throat> going on for us. Nice, the Stun Lancer does a great job in just being an available target, really. He can do that also by just moving here so everybody can see him. Not a lot of great cover options, really. This one here, however, through the wall, since it just has been opened, uh, seems a pretty good one. Yeah, I think over here is a good target. There's another... There is another pack in here. And we've just pulled that. How do they keep coming? Still moving. Fortunately a miss. That was very unfortunate. Indestructible cover, yes, please. Come on, focus. Now the game is punishing us for no apparent reason. Back online. Come on, I want to kill at least one of these guys. This might be the end of our stun lancer, but no, it is not. He's down to one hit point and he is tanking it. Moving to position. Oh boy. Talking about some intense missions. I'll just stand here for now. One round of shutdown. Fantastic. kidding me <laughs> even more oh this is this is too good good copy moving on target 
All right, high ground overwatch, and we're just ending the turn here. There you go. I don't even know what the learnings of uh, this chaotic battle had been. Every single mission, I feel that we're going to lose this one. When we were caught out, it was like, yeah, that's not happening. Then the sector port needed to go the full distance. Wasn't happening either. And I was already kind of willing to give up and ev evacuate. But then the guy just ran into us and completely ran it down. He took like three shots, almost got executed right away. And then we're shooting the crate just to pull that other pack in the worst moment of time. And equally so, we're, um, we are um, one shot later executing the general. Strange mission. But now I had the proof with Bond level 3, it is definitely possible to get down one of the sector pots, even with sort of limited shredding. Hello, Commander. And we countered Viper rounds, which would be a nasty dark event. Nothing worse uh, than good old poisoning on every single shot together with bleeding rent that's poisoning and bleeding. It's horrible. I suppose that's one way to approach a problem you can't solve. Just build a machine to do it for you. I don't even know what you're talking about, dude. We have zero sparks. We have no machines. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the abattoir. Okay, bond training. We got another level three team, which is good. We now got four level three teams. And just with the weapons and all the things that we had available, I also feel that we're in a good space. This is just lost. So easy to counter that dark event. What? No dark event here? Like this is not the straight up very difficult hundred intel. There you go. That's it. Okay, here we have a hidden dark event. It could be a nasty one. Here we do have nothing that I'm concerned about uh, yeah well this could work quite well large amounts of loss sign me up sign me up okay no cool we're going to do that next uh, next turn and that would be a second dark event which we countered which given that uh, we are playing with permanent dark events is not the worst uh, position to find yourself in it brings us to the end of today's episode thank you for watching uh, and if you enjoyed what you've seen leave a comment and a like down below uh, let's get uh, the discussion started uh, which type of uh, enemy do you hate the most that's my question for today uh, because I start to develop a distinct dislike for Archons. They are all around uh, quite powerful units and difficult to control. Let me know what you think and uh, see you in the next episode. Bye bye.